you know? Yeah, bro. No, this is awesome. <clears throat> There's so much good stuff here. Um, okay, so you mentioned. So let's let's rewind back to the beginning when you were talking about potential self sabotage. The um, with the vision statement stuff, feeling you know it's almost too good to be true, or the fear of failure. And as, as you're writing it, it just feels weird. Like I want to, like this is this is a great thing. I just thought about this right now. As we go through my first couple modules in the course, which I don't know if, if you have, have access to the next modules yet, but there's this word that you know we've talked about called desensitization. And there's there's physical, visual, and emotional desensitization that is like, you know, you watch so much porn visually that like pretty soon the porn models are what excite you and not just a regular girl in your bed. Um, there's the physical desensitization where you you stroke it harder because you're you're soft and by squeezing a little bit harder or going faster you actually feel less and less and less you're being desensitized visually physically and then the emotional side of things where <clears throat> you know you feel these emotions um and the more you kind of go into these situations you're like you don't feel as much because you've you're we're training ourselves to become emotionally desensitized and that that's what porn and these fantasy like dating sites that's what they do to us with dopamine and everything like that now this is actually a a, a positive thing the the reason why mother nature has given us this ability to become desensitized is because there is a reason for it there's a there's a positive reason for this desensitization in certain in certain aspects um one of the reasons of desensitization that actually works for us in our favor is the first day you write your vision statement. You feel weird. It's like, uh, I don't feel worthy of this. This is bad. But by the third day, you just said, by the third day, I felt pretty good. I could do this. So you're actually desensitizing yourself to this crazy statement. I'm a, I'm the best coach. Oh, that feels so weird. To like the third day, you're like, all right, I am the, the best coach. I can feel this. I can get into this stuff. I like it. And that is that <clears throat> that's the comfort zone expanding. And so at, <clears throat> excuse me, as you continue on this path and as you continue to groove down what you want, like not what I want you for you, but what you want, not what Daniel wants for you, but what you want, you start to write this in and you say, okay, I am the best coach. And you start to feel that you're like, fuck yeah, I am the best coach. And even if you don't have any students right now or anything, if you, even if you just like imagining yourself being the best coach and feeling that emotion, pretty soon it doesn't feel scary anymore. It feels like exciting. And you know, that fear and uh, excitement, they're kind of the same line, just on different sides. And so pretty soon the fear goes away and you start feeling excited. And then with that excitement, you can start to take new and exciting and bold actions to bring that into your world.